Hey guys, welcome back to Film Truth. Today we'll talk about nine super dark patients on Dr. Phil. Let's head into it. Number nine, the woman who encouraged her daughter to get plastic surgery and be promiscuous. A guest on Dr. Phil, Marianne was taken aback when her husband admitted to visiting an adult club on two occasions 15 years ago. Marianne has been obsessed with her own appearance as well as that of her 19-year-old daughter, Miranda, since the confession. Miranda went on the Dr. Phil show with her mother since Marianne has started dressing up as a stripper and wants Miranda to do the same. Marianne had breast implants and a big tattoo on her back, as well as a pole mounted in her home. Marianne also persuaded Miranda to get breast implants, but she didn't like Miranda's size choice and advised her to go bigger and bigger. Men are attracted to big breasts, Marianne explained to Miranda, and they don't care how trained a woman is. Make sure you're writing your thoughts in the comment section of this one, guys. Number eight, the woman who said men hit women because they love them. After a video she made and posted online went viral, Romina Garcia was invited to the Dr. Phil show. What is the source of the video's popularity? Garcia stood up for victims of domestic violence. She made the video when she was 18 and had a black eye, and she used it to justify why her boyfriend hit her. He must really love me, she said. Garcia is said to have died of a drug overdose shortly before her 20th birthday, although there are no confirmed records of her death. Celebrities such as Kylie Jenner, on the other hand, express their condolences on social media. Some people say the entire thing was staged as a satire. If Number your seven. your boyfriend hits you or beats you up, stay with him. He loves you because he's risking for you to press charges on him, calling the police. A guy that's willing to do that for a girl, it's amazing. Number seven, the woman who pretended to be sick with cancer in order to earn money. Jessica was a Dr. Phil guest who was desperate to learn why her mother Patricia was lying to people about her cancer diagnosis. Patricia had had brain surgery before, but she'd never had cancer. Patricia then appeared on local television claiming to have stage 3 brain cancer. Patricia also appeared to have had at least 17 strokes during her life. She pretended to be sick in order to defraud people at fundraisers. Patricia, to make matters worse, didn't even use the money to better her life. Her son's and pet's home was a shambles, and her dog had an untreated eye infection that rendered him unable to open his eye. Number 6. The guy who had sexy vegan tattooed on his forehead after changing his name. Vegan Sexy is a fascinating character. He's often seen wandering the streets of Hollywood in nothing but a speedo or very short shorts, a full-length mirror on his side. Vegan was on Dr. Phil's show because his sister is upset about his antics. He confessed to being convicted 15 times for different offences with his mother bailing him out. Despite the fact that he's 33 years old, he doesn't work and relies on his mother for financial support. Vegan also makes bizarre statements about himself, such as being the most attractive guy and the best dancer on the planet. Number 5 one of television's strangest love triangles. Chris is loved by Eileen and Sandy, but it's unrequited. Apart from co-parenting his child with Sandy, Chris doesn't seem to want anything to do with either woman. Chris and Sandy were married for years, but ultimately divorced, according to the article. He then moved out and advertised for a roommate on Craigslist. Aileen replied, and the two became roommates before falling in love. Sandy said that although she adores Chris, she just wants to be a part of his life because of their daughter. Aileen is not convinced. Sandy, she says, isn't over Chris and that she interfered with her relationship with him. She also uses obscene slurs and has allegedly been stalking Sandy online, creating fake Facebook profiles to gain access to her website. When she's not stalking, she calls Child Protective Services and fabricates violence and neglect charges against Sandy. It turns out that Aileen threatened her ex-husband in the same way when he began dating someone else. Number 4. The guy who said he was Taylor Swift's songwriter. 
Riley, who's 23 years old, thinks he's a pretty big deal. He appears to have written a large number of songs for various artists. Riley also claims to have assisted Taylor Swift in the writing of her smash hit, Shake It Off. As a result, Riley's parents went on Dr. Phil to voice their concerns about their son, whom they believe is psychotic. Riley's mother, in particular, claims that her son is a pathological liar. Riley was informed by Dr. Phil that he's personal friends with Taylor Swift's mother and that if Riley was interested in Swift's career, he would be aware of it. Riley, on the other hand, kept to his story for a long time before realizing that his thoughts may have been influenced by drug use. Despite this, he continues to believe Swift is his soulmate. Number three, the teacher who didn't think it was wrong when she slept with her student. Tanya Ramirez, a former teacher and coach from Corpus Christi, Texas, is 29 years old. A 17-year-old student came into her classroom one day and asked for Ramirez's phone number, which she gave him. They had been texting for weeks and had become flirtatious. Since the relationship was not taking place on school grounds, Ramirez told Dr. Phil she didn't believe they were doing something wrong or illegal. She and the student ended up going on a date at her house and became really close. The student videotaped it and shared it with some other classmates, resulting in school officials learning about the tryst. Ramirez said she was unaware of the incident. She subsequently pleaded guilty to a second-degree felony charge of having an inappropriate relationship with a student. Ramirez got seven years of probation and had to give up her teaching license in exchange for her guilty plea. She did not have to serve any prison time or register as a sex offender. I didn't think it was wrong. It never once felt like I was talking to a child. I wasn't thinking, wait a minute, I'm a teacher, because I felt this was all happening outside of school. Number two the sugar baby team of mother and daughter. Sugar babies are typically younger women who choose to date wealthy men, often known as sugar daddies. Financial contracts are normally made in the form of an allowance. Some say that being a sugar baby is similar to prostitution, but most sugar babies argue that it isn't because they get to pick their daddies and aren't required to be physically intimate. Riley is a proud sugar baby who claims to charge $2,000 per day or $5,000 a week for her business. She claims she has never been intimate with any of her sugar daddies, but she does take her shirt off on occasion. Riley has been so good as a sugar baby that she has persuaded her mother to join her. Even their sugar daddies are on a double date with the two. They told a story on Dr. Phil about a date where a man wanted to be whipped by two women. The mother and daughter stripped down to their panties before whipping the man together. Number one, a husband who revealed to his wife that he made adult films and wanted to make more. Chuck and Amanda had been married for six years, but they admitted to Dr. Phil that they had had a lot of fights. Chuck, it turns out, had a problem with lying as well. Worse, the couple have two children together. On Dr. Phil, Chuck revealed a secret to the show's producers and promised Amanda that she would never find out. Dr. Phil, on the other hand, was not having it and brought up the idea that Chuck was concealing information from his wife. Chuck initially denied it, but he later revealed that while he lived in California, he worked in the adult film industry. He also admitted that the day before the episode was taped, he contacted his former employer about possible opportunities while in California for the show. Amanda was humiliated. What do you... I was... Uh, I had done a few adult movies when I lived out here in California. What do you think about these patients? Which one do you think was the darkest? Let us know in the comments section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.